With Perkins on the bench, that means he'll go to Chris Brust. Well, Brust has had a lot of experience, and that's very helpful in a situation like this, as opposed to having to put in a freshman or an untried ball player. He has a good hands out there. He knows what to do, and, of course, he knows the system, so that'll be helpful. Sometimes, you know, Bill, a team will lose a star player like this, and it just inspires them on to greater heights. We'll see how this is going to turn out here tonight. It should be a dandy. And we'll be back with the team lineups after these messages. Shoulder, great deal of responsibility. James Worthy probably going to have a lot more thrust on him tonight. North Carolina leads this series by a wide margin, but since 1977, it's only 9-7 to seven in favor of North Carolina. And here we go, the tip control by North Carolina. Michael Jordan hands it over to Jimmy Pike, and it's a man for man. And Billy, I know she introduced Helms and Jordan against each other. That'll be an interesting matchup, Helms on Jordan. Nice size matchup, of course. Uh, experience in uh, Helms' favor, but Michael Jordan is quite a freshman. Here's Worthy, and the first shot misses. Tipped up by Brust almost, but Johnstone's got it. Here comes Wake Forest with a chance to take the first lead. We're in the first 30 seconds, no score. North Carolina without Sam Perkins. And, of course, Wake Forest without Alvis Rogers. Key players for both. Perkins probably more sorely missed. Johnstone cannot handle it. It's batted away from him. I think this is the second start that I could And over 88 at the foul line. And, and of course, uh, Perkins did not play out on the West Coast one ball game. Okay, so he's had limited starting assignments. Plagued by injuries, go back to before his senior year in high school. Well, he, arri defense. he arrived at North Carolina with, a, with an injury problem and really never did get on track for the first couple of years, but Jimmy's been in the system for so long, it's not a matter of putting a guy that's inexperienced out there because he's been in practice every day, so he knows the system. He just doesn't have the great athletic skills. And he on key player feeds inside to Morgan, partially blocked by Rick Worthy. Here comes North Carolina's fast break. Jimmy Black checked by Young. No scores yet. We've gone almost a minute. Worthy spins inside. Sensational move inside and a great pass by Brust in the perfect position to hit Worthy. So give Brust an assist here in the first uh, minutes of the game. 2-0 North Carolina now sticking man for man. You saw that trap out of the man-to-man. -man. North Carolina throws a lot of defenses out of team. John Stone blocked out of bounds. You notice they don't put Brust on John Stone. He's being guarded by James Worthy. And you know who made that block was Michael Jordan. You've got Jordan and Doherty out there. Excellent shot blockers for guys that you normally wouldn't think at that position would get their hands on the ball. Now they're asking Chris Bruss to guard Guy Morgan. Now we'll keep an eye on that setup. Morgan Two. should be able to take him from the forward spot. Two to nothing in favor of North Carolina. There goes Tom to the inside. Rebound is patched away by Doherty. Fast break, North Carolina. Jimmy Black, great pass, pass. to Bruss. Jimmy Black, one of the most underrated point guards in the United States. There he is. Who created the contact? They say Black went up and initiated it. That'll be a foul on Jimmy Black, but he just made another sensational play. And who was there to get the dump? A slam dunk. Chris Brust. How often have you seen a guy come off the bench rather unheralded, filling in for a superstar and go to his greatest heights? Of course, we're very early. Only one, two minutes gone by. Pressure defense by North Carolina. They've got the first four points of the game. Carolina's defense, Jim, as this year has moved on, has really progressed. They do so many different things, but their traps are excellent, and the guys cover well. There goes Morgan. Banks up inside. Brust with a rebound. Well, Brust has uh, come through and flying colors here the opening couple of minutes of the game. 4 nothing. Brust feeds to Worthy on the floor, and he's fouled. That'll be on a reach in by Danny Young. First foul of the game against Wake Forest. Wake Forest needs to be a little bit more patient offensively. Carl Tacey kind of calmed down there. Dean Smith working the officials already. Of course, he, he feels he's uh, one down with Perkins. You can see Smith working him, and there's Tacey. Pretty good scouting report he has on this team, the defense. Of course, these guys know each other well. Tacey's teams the last three or four years have held their own with North Carolina. Of course, one year ago, pulled off one of the most resounding upsets in the whole league here. Not by the fact that they won, but by how much. Jim, I think one of the key things to play North Carolina is to have a guard that knows how to control the pace of the game. And they had Frank Johnson last year, and you can remember when they had Skip Brown over here and did a fine job. You have to have a team that doesn't try to go through the teeth of the defense. Five nothing, North Carolina. Pressure defense. You try, they're trying to get it to Morgan. Feed inside, broken up by Doherty. North Carolina's defense thus far really shining. 
Ella Gualabas of North Carolina. Wake trying to throw that ball inside on to Johnstone. It was an excellent pass from a standpoint of the way that Morgan tried to execute it, but just a little bit too low. 5-0 North Carolina play without Sam Perkins, who's in the reformery. And the guess is he may be watching the game. Great man to man. Wake Forest trying to stick inside some good screens. Wake side drive by Doherty, and he draws a foul on Tom, John Toms. Of course, has been right here at Chapel Hill. I was kidding Eddie Fogler down there during the introduction. I said, Eddie, tonight you'll find out what kind of a coach you are. He said, I'm a lousy coach, but see the guy standing over there? He really knows how to coach. <laughs> of course, you know who he was pointing to. Two shots to Doherty. Dean's kept his staff pretty well in stock. Guthridge's been here how many years? A long time. Tipped outside of North Carolina. Michael Jordan will get it. Tar Heels have the first six points of the ball game. Six nothing, and we're a little over three minutes of the contest. James Worthy powers inside. Really surprised that Morgan wasn't able to stay with Worthy. Morgan normally a very good defensive player, but Worthy looks like he's super psyched up tonight without his running mate Perkins out here. One more time down court. Wake Forest may have to get a timeout yep. to settle down. And you Danny can see where feeds to Morgan is. inside, and Morgan goes up and draws the foul on Worthy. You can see Carl Tacey ready to go for that timeout. Jimmy knew he had to have a good possession that time. Dean Smith wanting a, uh, a walking violation. There's his respect for Wake. Split in tournaments, didn't they? Big Four went to Wake and the uh, ACC to North Carolina. I was uh, on the road that night listening to that ball game, and when I turned it on, I could tell by Woody Durham's voice that the Tar Heels were in deep, deep trouble. And then I heard Jim Hefner said, well, we can get it down to 20. And I said, what game is he talking about? It was an unbelievable ball game. First point by Wake Forest, though, by Guy Morgan. Eight to one, seven point lead with the Tar Heels, who Wake. have been a house of fire playing without one of their superstars. Wake goes to the zone now. Tichi in the lineup, an excellent rebounder. John Stone in the two three, sitting back in the middle. Doherty, a very smart ball player. Worthy in the thick. Batted up by Worthy, but John Stone now has it for Wake Forest. Eight to one. Still have no field goal by Wake Forest. There goes him. Good shooter. Will not go. And Morgan follows twice. And of course, there's with Morgan doing a good job on the offensive board. Brush not a shot blocker, so Morgan able to put it back up two times. Tar Heels by five. We're still in the first five minutes of the game. North Carolina got off to a good start. Doherty inside, flips it. Rebound grabbed by Morgan. He's a great rebounder for Wake Forest at forward. An excellent move by Carl Tacey to go to this zone to check Carolina out without that Perkins in the lineup. Rebound ripped off by Worthy. Gets Black out in front. Here comes Young trailing, but Black's got it. Smart play by Jimmy Black. He hesitated to put Young on his backside. Therefore, Young couldn't go in for the block and time his leap. 10 to 3, seven point lead now by North Carolina. We've played exactly five minutes in the first half. Packed crowd at the Carmichael Auditorium. Reach in foul here's by Jimmy Black, I believe. That's going to be his second one. And now with the score, North Carolina 10, Wake Forest 3. Let's park those carpets. This game going around the country tonight by cable and also into subscription pay TV plus our regular ACC networks a lot of folks watching here as Wake Forest tries to break through on North Carolina's home court Tar Heels out in front quickly now 10 to 3 going to 2 3 zone of their own worthy in the middle without Perkins in there their lineup changes an awful lot Jim and it's some of the things that they can do to you change an awful lot also he has that ability against his zone to go out and take the jumper of course he's a big shot blocker in the middle and it almost allows worthy to be a secondary rebounder they're running Morgan the baseline trying to get a screen set by Johnstone outside shot by Danny Young Good Bombs shooter. It from long distance guy who replaced Frank Johnson had a big game here many times 10-5. Wake Forest trying to fight back after dropping behind eight uh, points at the outset. Now same zone set up here by Wake Forest. I look for Michael Jordan to start getting in the offensive action now against his zone. Black tried to throw that ball right through the zone to Chris Brust, and he almost got away with it. He's got to remember that Perkins' hands are not on the floor. <laughs> Pass like that, Sam Perkins with the great hands he can pick off. Almost a collision there with Young and Doherty. 
Now Michael Jordan open, and it is the rebound off to Guy Morgan. Almost threw it away, and North Carolina saves it inbounds. Great move by Jordan. What an athlete. Quite a hustle play. Michael Jordan did take one dribble too many before when he got in there and didn't get as good a jumper as he'd have had right off the pass. Jimmy Black looks inside the wake zone. It's really packed inside. There's every player of a wake right in the lanes. Here comes Jordan from deeper. There's the difference, Jim. He took it right off the pass for the jump shot against the zone instead of trying to penetrate with a dribble. Well, five, North Carolina back to a seven-point lead. 13-20 to go in the first half. And back to man to man. Boy, they don't let you get used to defense. Morgan over Brust. Rebound Johnstone. Easy follow. Great position by Jim Johnstone. Somebody forgot to block the big blonde from New Canaan, Connecticut. He's a hard-working fellow. He really is. He's had a tough career, hasn't he? Came in here against Jaminski, and now he suffered through Perkins and Sampson. Wake Forest changing up. Now they're playing a 1-3-1 zone defense. Picked off by Morgan. They got a 3-3 break. A Beautiful pass. T.T. he blew the layup. Lost his concentration. I think that he was enamored with the pass also. He thought the pass was going to go on over there to Morgan. Didn't concentrate at all. All right. Carl Tacey pacing the sidelines, realizing you don't give those up here. 12-7 inside. Worthy's hook. Good, and he's fouled. Foul by Johnstone. Some kind of move. Well, you know Worthy's got to feel a little extra adrenaline. The other bookend missing today. He caught that ball, made a fake with it before he came back down the ground and wheeled around, took that right-handed hook. I mean, there are not many guys in the country who can put that move on you. Has a chance to equal North Carolina's longest lead. Now, uh, Sylvester Charles comes in for Wake Forest, replacing Morgan. Charles uh, looks like a great player in the future for Wake Forest. He's a freshman from St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, but been playing up around the Washington, D.C. area. Hey, now by Johnstone. Foul shooting has hurt North Carolina. That's the one weak spot in their game. Slipped on the floor. Yep, Danny Young. That's going to be blocked. There it comes, T.T. Blocked it, and now it's tipped up again and there by Doherty. T.T. was going to get a piece of that one. He's an excellent shot blocker, and Braddock did not do what Jimmy Black did, which is slow down, get the guy on your hip, and then give that burst of speed at the end. But T.T. a very good shot blocker. There's T.T. now open on the baseline. Partially blocked. Jeff Barlow, outlet pass to Black. Great fake, and then batted away by Young, who stayed right with Black. 16-7, lead pass, Johnstone, and Barlow hustles to knock it out of bounds. All right, North Carolina's make some big defensive plays. We have 11.55 to go in the first half. It is North Carolina, 16, and Wake Forest 7. We'll be back with more ACC basketball after these messages from your local station. Approved by the Atlantic Coast Conference. That'll be the McDonald's MVPs at the conclusion or at the very end of tonight's game. That's hard to believe. Wake Forest has taken 24 shots already? Yeah. Huh? Well, that is, doesn't seem right. But, no, uh, that can't be correct. Even though we've got great people in the truck, I've got a question. 24 shots. 16 to 7. A shot counts as one. When you make it, you count two. There All we right. go. And There's three 14. of 14. We didn't think. Good job by Braddock. Keep that ball alive to Black. Lobs inside. Worthy. Worthy. Very active. Draws the foul. Foul is going to be on Tietze, I believe. Nope, it's on Charles. Sylvester Charles, number 33. He was up against um, James Worthy, who's a man, and they just overpowered him inside. Worthy only one for three at the line. Makes that two for four. Show you how North Carolina can adjust its attack. Worthy and Perkins noted, of course, for being very strong inside for this team. And yet Saturday against Duke, Phil, but two of them together took only 13 shots. May Tillett. Here's that full court pressure now. Man to man, but they'll jump switch as soon as they get a chance. Now watch. Johnstone batted didn't away. Have a chance. There's Danny Young feeding underneath. They didn't get it by sitting up. Helms was wide open. Again, concentration. That's twice that Wake has lost a chance for an easy basket. Lack of concentration on the catch. Now Wake in a 1-3-1 zone. Both teams really changing up a lot. Nine-point lead by North Carolina. 18-7. 11-20 to go in the first half. Barlow takes a look at the baseline for Doherty. Good touch pass to Doherty. Wake coming out to get along the ball a little bit from their zone. 
But with Helms running the baseline, they've got a guy with some size down in there, so he can't get buried. North Carolina would like to get Peralta to Worthy. Worthy's pretty well surrounded right now. Michael Jordan on the wing here has got a chance, too, if Doherty can get it to him. Batted out by Helms. Chris North Brust. Carolina's ball is Chris Brust, who replaced Sam Perkins in the starting lineup tonight, returns. You can see what Dean Smith's going to do with Brust. He's going to give him uh, a little break here and there, putting Barlow in with him so that he doesn't get worn down on a fatigue basis. He's just not used to playing that many consecutive minutes. Michael Jordan double T. There goes Doherty, spots Jimmy Black, and the Worthy for the right hander. Well, Worthy's really been active for North Carolina. 20 to 7. 13 point lead, the biggest jump in the game. And we're yet, not yet midway in the first half. Back to man to man. Worthy on Johnstone, as you pointed out, Jim. Now here's uh, Danny inside a follow by Johnstone. He made sure he didn't lose his concentration on that one. Johnstone takes up a lot of room inside, and he had excellent position defensively. Ten minutes to go in the first half. North Carolina up by 11, 20 to 9. Boy, they love that little triangle on the side. North Carolina does. They'll get... They, they like Perkins and the... Well, taken away by Danny Young. Coming down on Jimmy Black. Got a 3 0 one classic break. It'll be Danny Young with a stop. Might have gone a little deeper, but it wasn't a bad shot. Yeah, he kind of slowed down a little bit. Great with catch by Worthy. Oh, you see that catch. Matt Doherty looking forward. Everybody breaking out of the pack. And as you pointed out, Jim, Young pulled up a little bit too early, and Kyle Tacey going to take that time. Yes, sir. You get the feeling it's going to be something special tonight for James Worthy, who's trying to do it for both he and Sam. And with the score... North Carolina 22, Wake Forest 9. Let's pause for these messages. Looks like they're going to play the 2-3 zone. Well, for those that might have had a little uh, second thoughts about North Carolina's chances here tonight, that seems to be by the boards. They're performing like a machine. Here's the correct shooting. Well, not a lot better. 3 for 15, better than 3 for 24. But Wake Forest just hadn't had good shot selection, and they hadn't been concentrating on a catch. Without John Stone, they'd be in real trouble. John Stone has picked up three of their five field goals. 22-11. North Carolina's doubled the scoring output so far. Chris Press back in there. This is the original starting lineup for tonight's game. Zone for Wake Forest. We don't really have the matchup that we look forward to here with Helms on Jordan. Very patient offensive team is North Carolina. They look for the open spot and everybody can score. Jimmy Black rebound out to Jordan. Oh, he just has basketball genes, does he? Here he is, Michael Jordan setting. Kept alive by Worthy, but then John Stone snatches away for the Deacons. Here comes Wake Forest trailing by 11 points. Another tough catch. And John Stone left open. Jordan tried to gamble there, and John Stone got free for his fourth field goal and eighth point. He has scored eight of Wake Forest's 13 points. Wake Forest does an excellent job throwing that bounce pass down inside to John Stone, who with his body and bulk takes up a lot of room in there, so it's tough defensively to handle that play. There goes Worthy again. And there went Jordan over everybody. Is that Jordan or Brust? I think Brust got the yeah. tip in, but Jordan was soaring. He cleaned it out. Fourth point for Chris Brust. Most he's ever scored is nine in a game. That was against Santa Clara. Well, statistically, Jim, this year, Brust had only taken 15 shots going in this game. Sam Perkins had taken 117. So you can see quite a drop off there in production. There goes Morgan penetrating. He is fouled. That's unworthy. Now two fouls on James Worthy. Suddenly is magnified in this game with Perkins out of the uh, still out of the picture. We'll see it right here. Now let's see if he gets. But at the line will be Guy Morgan for Wake Forest. Scored three points. Kyle Tacey showed he was a little bit dis disappointed with Morgan's early play here, and that it appeared to be, and now he's back in there. Morgan is 72% free throw shooter. Uh, 
was injured at the beginning of the year and there was a question whether or not he'd even be able to play at all this year thought they might redshirt him and then lo and behold uh, he goes uh, and is able to play and they lose Alvis Rogers their other forward 24 50 Wake Forest back with a nine they've trailed as much as 13 little zone trap in the backcourt here's Jimmy Braddock will take the shot no one under rebound Wake Forest should get it easily Teachy was down there to keep the ball up that's yeah, Helms' that's shot that's it Good play by Wake Forest. Getting the ball down quickly. They're getting back in this game, Jim. 24-17. And uh, goes out of bounds to Wake Forest. Jimmy Black taken right to the sidelines. He goes out of bounds with it. I think he was surprised to see Danny Young right there on him, bringing the ball up court. He rode him right out of bounds, and Jimmy Black slipped, ran out of court. There you see 449 victories for Dean Smith in his career here. This, of course, could be sort of a milestone, 450. If they can win it, but now it's 24-17. Wake Forest closing down the gap a bit. Peachy, John. there goes Danny Young outside. Rebound by Worthy. Boy, Worthy is having some night so far. North kind of trying the long transition pass. Wake Forest has worked a couple of times. Well, the reason for that is Helms likes to go down on the wings. If you go down on the wings, it only leaves one guard back and Young there all by himself. So when he shoots the ball, really, there's nobody back for the long pass. Doherty taken away by Danny Young. Here comes Wake running again. Basket here, they're back within five, and that is Charles Tichy. He, he didn't lose concentration on that one. That was a tougher pass to catch than before. Wake Forest playing well, and Dean Smith may be going for a timeout here shortly. You better Bad believe pass it. pass turns it over. Wake Forest a chance to get back within three, and suddenly the complexion of this game changed again than his. Timeout for North Carolina with six minutes and seven seconds to go in the first half. And now the lead is down to five for the Tar Heels. And we'll be back with more ACC basketball after these lessons. Oh, teammate of our old buddy, Bill. He was a great player, of course, in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Now living up in Milwaukee. And uh, he was a tower of strength. 24-19. It's going to be an important possession for Wake Forest if they keep this comeback going. Jim, remember that second foul on Worthy. Great uh, steal. Jimmy Black, Danny Young tracing. Black layup, rebound down. The foul is going to be on Jordan. Well, that suddenly switched around. Jimmy Black tried to do the same thing, keep a man on his hip, but he wasn't concentrating on the basket. We'll see him right here. Now watch this. A great steal by Black. Now watch what he tries to do. He keeps the man. He slows down. He gets the man on his hip, get ready to explode. But I think he just lost concentration as to where he was. Good hustle by Helms. Jordan on his back. First foul on Jordan. Five team fouls now. Full court defense here by North Carolina. Man for man press. Johnstone did a wise thing coming back there to help out. There goes Morgan. Got a man open. Morgan will bank it. And rebound by Johnstone. Slips out of his hand. Morgan has got it on the floor. Does it? Tries to get up. We'll have a jump ball. So it'll be Wake Forest ball. North Carolina control the opening tap. This is the first thing resembling a jump ball so far. Carl Tacey doing a good job, Jim. I think he changed his ball game around when he got out of the man-to-man -man and went to the zone early. Called a couple of key timeouts, and he's got his club right back in this ball game. 24-19. Basket here. It's the third time Wake's had a chance to pull within three. Now Helms goes back to the point against the uh, zone. And he'll go weak side to get his shot. That's his spot. That's a set play, and you notice that Morgan set the screen for Helms. Another chance. Fourth time Wake Forest has had a chance to get back within three. Morgan driving, and he fires it in. And the lead is down to three. 24-21. Four minutes, 55 seconds to go in the first half. Wake Forest pressing just enough in the backcourt to keep the game tight for them defensively instead of just dropping straight back into that zone. I think Wake Forest's game plan was trying to shore up their inside defense, and that changed when Perkins was lost. 24-21. Sam Perkins really adds such a dimension to North Carolina in their zone offense because he can slide out and take the jump shot, plus he can move inside with, with Worthy, so you have two guys that can slip inside the zone. There uh, goes a set pass out to Dorothy. Blocked by Morgan, who comes up with it. And Great he's got play. Helms on the right. Morgan takes it inside, and it's a far charging foul on Morgan. A great defensive play by Jimmy Black. 
Well, many times, Jim, on a break like this, you want Morgan to give up the ball sooner. If he'd have given up the ball, Helms would have come over to get it. Helms not used to being in the middle himself. If he'd have given up the ball, he'd had an opportunity to split Jimmy Black, but Black did a great job staying back in there. Boy, no question. He cut that lane off uh, right in the center. Morgan charged for his first foul, turns the ball back. So it could have been a chance for the Deacons to get it down to one. With four instead, North Carolina can go back to five. Four minutes to go, first half. Jordan penetrating. Now they whistle it over to Braddock. Pretty good shifting in there by the wake zone. Dean Smith coming in with Braddock, trying to get another outside shooter in the game. Doherty doesn't like to put it up out there very much. Braddock will shoot it. Jeff Barlow's back in for Chris Brust. Worthy's played the entire first half so far. Two fouls, he's off to a great scoring start. 11 points, which he got in about the first quarter of the game. There's Barlow, left-hander comes up short. Johnstone rips it off for Wake. Dangerous pass. Yep, almost picked off by Black again. Boy, Tom's wanted the lob. There's the shot, the foul by Jordan. North well, Carolina right now has to be concerned about their zone offense. They just have not figured out a way to attack Wake Forest, and without Perkins, they can't do it with talent, so they're going to have to figure out some way to get another scorer on the floor. John Towns had signaled for an alley-oop over there, but... He was open, too, Jim. Yep, I think he was. Here's Stanley Young down the line. Latest three by North Carolina. There's his figures. He's given double-figure scores, what, which is what Carl Tacey wants. And for a sophomore, he's got 56 assists and only 31 turnovers, which is pretty good uh, percentages for a uh, point guard. That's going to be a pretty big uh, game for him. He's back within just a few miles of his hometown. Where are they in the lanes? Rebound tipped off the side. Jordan will get it, and he's fouled by Barlow. Barlow's first foul. Now, that's 17 fouls, and Wake Forest goes to the bonus here for the last three minutes. 14 seconds of the first half. That familiar slap of a go down enough to play in the 90-foot length. Helms gets the bonus. He's a great free throw, of course. Now Helms has reached the 1,000-point mark in his career. Right there, just scored his 1,000th first, 1,002. 24-23. Wake Forest has never led in the game. They're within one point with three minutes and ten seconds to go. And it'll be an interesting three-minute stretch here, Bill. You see they're putting Michael Jordan now in the middle, trying to get him posted up. Look at Worthy. He really wants the ball. And John Stone's aware of it. He's trying to stay right in front of him. Tough to lob it over John Stone, who's 6'11". 24-23. North Carolina wants that by 13 points. Barlow didn't even look for the shot. Well, they're really concentrating on Worthy. They don't want him to touch it. Look at Johnstone, almost playing him like man-to-man -man in the post area, doing a good job on him. Oh, this is great uh, patience here, though, by North Carolina. Braddock Black is open. You no longer can call him an underrated player, Bill. He's a solid guard for North Carolina. 26-23. Tar Heels back to a three-point lead. And back into man-to-man. There's Rudd. You see, they've come out of the zone with Rudd in there. He can pop him from outside. There's Helm short. Rebound goes down, and we're going to get a jump ball. It'll still be North Carolina's ball. Two minutes, ten seconds to go in the first half. What that play did was set up the next possession for Wake Forest, possibly to start the second half. Yeah, Morgan did a good job diving for that ball just to go ahead and create the jump ball situation. Three-point lead, North Carolina. They led by 13 points until Wake Forest cut it to one. Now the Tar Heels have a chance to go back up by five. Still, North Carolina has to figure out where do they get point production in this game. There goes Michael Jordan. Hits Brust. Worthy now is on the weak side. Tries to cut in. Wake really jamming up around Worthy. There he is, but no lay. Sam Worthy smart enough to realize he can't score every time he touches the ball. There's a reach-in foul. That'll be on Danny Young. Or is that on uh, Toms? Thinks it's on John Toms. That's will be his second. What's team that? foul team number five. six. Just, number six. Oh, Both teams are bonus now, but there'll be no shot here. One minute, 33 seconds to go. This game really changed around. We've had two different games here in the first half. First quarter belongs to North Carolina. Now Wake Forest has come back. 
There's Doherty, 16 footer. Air ball, and it's outside. Good uh, save by Brust. Here comes Jordan. Good block. Blocked inside by Jim Stone. Brust up inside. Now it's tapped in by Jordan. Great flurry on the boards by the Tar Heels, 28-23. Jordan listed, but he can really sky. Plays more like a forward, doesn't he? What's good about him is that he didn't have to make the adjustment to the guard poorly. I mean, he can play back there, and then he's so versatile, it's easy for him to move into the front court. John Tiles on the rim. Mike comes here. John Stone cuts to the center. Tries to beat the Tiles. Now John Stone underneath. Guys on rebound, tipped outside to Braddock. North Carolina possession leading by five, 28-23. Tar Heels getting a new surge here in the final minute. Jordan. Michael Jordan, the sensational freshman for North Carolina. Tar Heels are back up by seven, 30-23. Wake going to go for one shot right here. Rudd looks like the crowd's getting to him a little bit. Six straight points by North Carolina after Wake had cut it to one. Uh, 12 seconds to go in the half. Johnstone may be too soon. Rebound, lost out of bounds. It'll go to Wake Forest with six seconds to go. And that wasn't the shot that he wanted either. I believe that the crowd, the intensity, the noise, worthy going out, smart. Harlow back in. He's suddenly becoming a key player for North Carolina tonight with Perkins out. Also, Buzz Peterson, the freshman, is in, number 22. There goes Helms on a heavy guard. Hits with three seconds to go in the half. And now here's the long one from Braddock. Oh, that was about 75 feet, and he hit the rim. But the first half is over. North Carolina's big lead melted, but now they surge back, and then it's cut to five just before the buzzer. That's the end of the first half of play. The score, North Carolina 30, Wake Forest 25. We'll be back with a recap of the first half. Yeah, well, that bows is some beautiful character. Still in a hurry. Five seconds to get it in. Just made it on the fifth count. 30-25, Danny Young double team. North Carolina comes out pressing. Nobody picking up Morgan. That is Morgan. Teachy starts the second half of plays of John Toms. Everybody else is the same for both teams. I don't know if North Carolina realized what defense they're in. Let's see, they're in man-to-man. -man. I don't think Russ realized what defense they're in. Still doesn't realize it. He just running around finding a man somewhere because he's ended up and on Helms. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's playing man-to-man. -man uh, they had Teachy on Doherty for a moment down low. There's got to be a mismatch out there someplace they can take advantage of. That was right off the uh, fingers of uh, John Stone, but you got to credit that to a North Carolina player. Who cut in front, got a hand on the ball. Wake Forest players should have recognized that it was brushed on Helms and cleaned out for him and let him take him from the outside. 30-25, North Carolina leading. 2-1-2 zone for Wake Forest. He used this for most of the first half. Michael Jordan. Jordan the first half at six points. James Worthy, the big scorer with 13. Picked off, but almost by Morgan, but they get it back to Black. Michael Jordan driving baseline. Oh, gets it to Russ. Pass. Beautiful pass by Jordan. The only way to describe it, and Brust has got his sixth point of the game. And give Brust a lot of credit on that play, because you just had to assume that Michael Jordan was going to put that up. And there's Doherty. Telegraph pass, and Doherty almost had it, and Jordan was in the blocks, ready to break. 32-25. Boy, a heady ball player, Doherty. Well, he was 0 for 3 in the first half. He's got to be counted on to get a little bit more production in the second half, but I'm sure Wake Forest is going to let him shoot before they're going to start playing him in that zone. John Stone gets the soft now He walks. Traveling by John Stone. Eliminates that hook shot. That was an obvious walk. He needed either to catch that ball a little cleaner or put it on the floor one time. North Carolina now, a uh, stage is set if they want to start moving away again. They've come from just one point ahead, now leading by seven, 32-25. They led by five of the half. Wake had cut it to 24, 23-22. So it's been 10 to two for North Carolina, and Jordan a little bit outside, rebound John Stone. There's it to Morgan, Wake will not break. Well, this is one of the things that Wake Forest really misses this year, not having Frank Johnson, because he'd have forced the break on that play. There's John Stone finally getting his hook away and scoring his 10th point. 32-27. Teams now even up to a piece here in this half. 
Wake stays right in that 2-3 zone. Johnstone in the middle. Thrown away. Doherty was trying to go to the weak side of Jordan. At that moment, Jordan decided to break inside. Now there's Carl Tacey signaling uh, what he wants his team to do. Boy, a great teacher, isn't he, the silent man? He's really put together an excellent program. His teams are competitive each and every year. He's taken two different ball clubs to the NCAA tournament. He's got a good chance this year also if they continue to improve. Well, he's been twice with Wake and went once with Marshall where he had a great season down there, 23 and 4, and hunting for West Virginia before coming here. Morgan, double team. Almost lost the blind side. Helms. Danny Young's wide open. Nobody can see him. Tichy takes the parameter route. Anthony Tichy's fourth point. Wake creeping in there again. Back within three. 17 minutes to go on this one. North Carolina fans trying to come alive. They're missing Sam Perkins. He's in the hospital tonight watching. A little stomach virus blocked on the outside and brushed foul by Morgan underneath. You have to be impressed with the way Brust has finished, uh, filled in here today for Sam Perkins in this game tonight. He was two for four in the first half, six rebounds, and uh, had an assist. You notice how Doherty kind of winds up to get that jump shot off as opposed to a guy that can just take it from the catch uh, and, and put it right up. And that little wind up, of course, what created the block. 32 29, three touch pass, and Brust can't handle that one. Good so idea. Maybe he has to wind up for the shots, but not for the passes. Now remember, uh, for young kids playing out there, you've got to know who you're passing to in addition to where that pass is going because there's some players obviously can catch that ball a little better than others. Danny Young gets by Jimmy Black's press. He's trying to force him to his left. Jim Johnston comes high, not to give him a release. Morgan wants the ball inside against Brust. Brust trying to deny. Morgan and Johnstone having a hard time getting together on that little triangle that he and Tichy and Morgan, Tichy and Johnstone trying to run inside. Now the outside shot by Young. They're trying to open it up and it's grabbed by Morgan for a fall away in front. And the goaltending is going to be called. I, I think it's going to be on Tichy for knocking it out of there. No basket. That's Offensive front. interference. Yep. And uh, Casey now showing a little emotion on the Wake Forest bench. I think Tichy got a piece of the ball. Close up there. Three point lead. North Carolina gets possession of the ball. And here's Tichy. He put his uh, finger on rebounding as being the key to this game. Of course, that comment was made with Perkins still expected to play. Now, both of these teams are out rebounding their opponents by about six rebounds a game, which is uh, quite a margin considering the competition they've played against. North got a little trouble rebounding. They did against Duke. Worthy three men on him. Now there was Doherty. Took that foul down low. Bill on the fake. That's what you were talking about a moment ago. Down again, you see. Worthy. Powers it. Oh, great block. Block and a foul on Morgan. He had his hand right on the ball. He may call him with the body, but he was really in there to stop Worthy. Watch this. He probably got a little piece with that chest of his, but he really was up there. We got to James Worthy, who is three out of five. Worthy, for some reason, has had some free-throwing difficulties. Such a natural athlete and a good shooter. Worthy shooting 68% from the line. You expect a guy of this caliber to be over 70, at least. Morgan has 16 blocks on the year, and he has excellent timing, his long arms. And he gets a lot of blocks, has throughout his career. Here comes full court pressure now. Trap, Young needs to back up a little bit and relax. And he finds John Toms. Toms has had some real good scoring games so far this year. Hadn't gotten untracked in this one. Wake Forest almost strictly to a half court offense here in the second half. That was that same play. They throw the ball over on one side of the court and the guard runs and then they set the screen on the defensive uh, man in the zone. Now, uh, Bill, uh, North Carolina's a 1 3 1, and you know they often just will suddenly jump out of there with trap on you. They have guys that can do that so well because Doherty and Michael yep. Jordan can really come on you. They left Helms unguarded, and that's a critical mistake against this Wake Forest player. He can really shoot him. He's still over the 1,000 point mark tonight for his career, and I just pull Wake back with him free. 34 31, 14 40 to go in the game. North Carolina still struggling, trying to get somebody else to put some points on the board. North Carolina doing a good job passing in the zone, throwing over the top of the zone. 
Jimmy Black top of the circle, and Doherty is there to get it. Most, most of North Carolina's baskets against his zone have been of the garbage variety. Not, not hitting the jumpers. They've just been getting second shots, which is great. There goes Worthy blocked inside on a foul on the play. And pointing to Morgan, that'll be his fourth if it's on Morgan. But they can come back with Tichy in that position. Wake Forest much deeper than North Carolina. Good dump inside. Here comes Worthy across. I think Danny Young got a piece of him first. But that was Morgan trying to help from the weak side. Worthy now who's shown a new touch at the line here tonight. That's five in a row and six out of eight for the game. Barlow in for Brust again. Kind of surprised that uh, North Carolina has recruited a lot of tall kids last year. Brownlee, Martin. Martin has been hurt a little bit. Expected to see them get in more action, but they really haven't evidently come along as well as uh, Dean Smith would have hoped. Timo Machina, who was uh, held out for the most part last year. 36-31. Those players are all the seven-foot range. Five-point lead. Here's some Helms off the dribble and rebound by Worthy. Out to Black, and Black is uh, blocked and fouled. Young got in there too late. Jimmy Black did not have possession. Now, wait a of the minute. Ball I think they're going to call a charge on Black. Here's This is going to be an interesting call. Did Black have possession or not? Because it's a time or distance rule that's going to be the key. They're going to call, call a walking walkin violation. Walking by Black. Nobody fouled. The ball will go to Wake Forest, and Dean Smith seems to settle for that. Well, not a bad play. One rep has one foul, one rep has the other. The other guy says, let's call it walking. Tiebreaker, right? Yeah, tiebreaker. There you go. Well, I think he did walk before the collision. Wasn't a bad call after all. 36-31. Five-point lead by North Carolina. Could be a good possession here. Goes Tom's to the outside. Rebound. And Doherty and Tom's fouls on the reach in. Third foul on John Tom's. Tom's was over one in the first half uh, with that starting starting assignment there tonight hadn't hit yet in the second half and then compounds the mistake by going in and foul after the missed shot 36 31 his hometown not too far from that of uh, James Worthy of North Carolina Shelby and Gastonia Shelby wasn't there a player from the in the ACC from Shelby let's see I remember his initials but didn't D number 44 yeah <laughs> David Thompson he was from uh, Crest High School. There's a blocking foul on North Carolina. That's a good call. Danny Young decided that time to take it all the way. And Jimmy Braddock got in there too late. See, now Wake Forest pushing the ball down the floor. One of the things they have not been able to do well this year. It looked, never, it looked like Young changed directions in midair. That's what happened. He moved aside, and that didn't square up with him. And uh, Braddock just kept moving on backwards. Danny Young now goes to the line for Wake Forest. He was 0 for 2 in the first half. At his big game against Clemson this year, he scored 26 points. Normally a good free throw shooter, but this year down considerably. Only shooting 63%. Should be a lot better than that because he has a nice pure shot. Of course, he had a year last year as a freshman to study other one of the fine backcourt players of the year, Frank Johnson, who's doing quite well in the NBA. Very well. 36-33. Again, here is Wake within three. They got it to one late in the first half with three minutes ago. Then Wake for a North Carolina on a surge. Now it's been cut back to three again. Jordan inside, batted away. Loose ball. Jimmy Black will control for North Carolina. Toms was a little bit in. lackadaisical going after that loose ball. Could have picked off another one. Barlow batted away, and then it's batted away again by Worthy and out of bounds. Looked like Teachy got a hand on it, then Worthy reached for it, went out of bounds, and will go to Wake Forest. A chance here to cut it to one once more. Wake Forest has never led in this game, nor has the game been tied. Now Kepley in the ball game. Of course, his dad played at the University of North Carolina. Good shooter for Wake Forest. Here comes the here comes that jump trap, and right now out of that There's one, Kepley, one. nobody there. And he walks. So Kepley, fresh off the bench, was wide open, then suddenly decided he wanted to go a little closer, saw a defensive man coming, and shoveled it maybe a little indecisive what he should do. I think he was, Jim. And, of course, if you're that wide open on the side, the object for the offensive player is get as close to that zone as you can and still get that shot off. He was a little bit out of range. Saw turnovers even this half. Only about one or two difference for the first half. So they're very close to that department. 36 33. North Carolina Michael Jordan through spots Doherty. Nice 
nice Jimmy fade. Black penetrates inside, picked off by Young. Great movie, anticipating the pass to Doherty. And there's the lob to John. Great pass. That's John good. Stone, and it's gold interference by Michael Jordan. So John Stone gets his 12th point, and Wake is back within one. Any big guy that'll run will get his chance to get a number of these kind of baskets. Wake Forest really hustling there. See Michael Jordan going above that rim. 36-35, North Carolina. Wake Forest has bounced back once more with 12 minutes to go in the game. And once again, the key for North Carolina is, Jim, they haven't been able to find somebody else that can open up because Worthy's been buried down there in that zone. They just don't have another score that they can throw out there at them. Jordan, of course, not as effective against the zone. There goes Worthy again inside the right hand. Oh, how he can switch that ball from left to right and Amazing. score a bit there. 19 points for Worthy. 38-35. Tar Heels go ahead of the Deacons now by three with 11.35 remaining. Very big game because if Wake Forest could pull off an upset here tonight over the nation's number one team, there'd be a three-way tie for first place in the ACC. You think Terry Holland may be rooting for somebody tonight? Kepley. Kepley was sent in to shoot, all right. He was in much better position to shoot that time. Threw it up there a little hard. You know he's got to be a little bit psyched up. 38-35, North Carolina. They have not yet given up the lead, but twice the lead's been down to one point. Inside, Bruss knocked down by Toms. Big turnover again for Wake Forest. Gives them a chance to get back within one. So this seesaw battle continues here with uh, a share of first place in the ACC on the line of the Deacons. Straight man-to-man -man now by North Carolina. And possibly first place the nation on the line for North Carolina. Wake Forest ought to pull this baby out and give Johnstone a chance on Worthy. Worthy still has just those two fouls. Up, oh, almost a turnover. Good recovery. There, it is. there goes Johnstone banking. Johnstone has been the man just like Worthy has for North Carolina. That's an excellent thought by Danny Young right there to pull that ball back out and make Worthy play Johnstone one on one. Ready your mind, Billy. 38-37, one-point lead again by North Carolina. Third time the Deacons have been within one. Worthy wants it inside now on Johnstone. Every time he's touched it, he's made something happen. Ah, technical, is it? Well, let's oh, they see. They just asked Morgan to sit down, I guess. Well, they may be calling the bench rule that he was on the court. Well, whatever, Joe Forte. <laughs> and he's sending Dean Smith back to his bench. That's a good move. He's... <laughs> Keeping him in the bench area. We have 10 minutes, six seconds to go in the first half. What's the call? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, in just a minute here. A crucial point in the game, perhaps. One point lead for North Carolina. With the score, Tar Heels 38, the Deacons 37. Let's pause for these messages. Schedule for 8 p.m. January 26th. will now start at 7 p.m. here on the Metro Sports Network. 38-37, one-point lead, big possession for North Carolina. They have not given up the lead. Notice how worthy he's still trying to get position. That was picked off by Young. Here comes Young on black. He's going to take it right in for the layup. Danny Young and Wake Forest leads for the first time of the ball game. One-point lead for the Deacons, 39-38. Don't think for a minute, Jim, that if Dean Smith gets this lead, he may not say, hey, I'm going to pull this ball back out of here because his zone offense is really not there. There's no shooting power in the game other than Jordan will put it up and Worthy put it up, but Doherty hadn't hit anything at all tonight, and Brust did not an offensive threat, and Jimmy Black only shoots... Uh, Every once in a while, here's there Doherty. Doherty, hey, that's the shot they're looking for at the North Carolina camp. That's his first basket tonight. That was an absolutely critical shot for their team because he had not put up any shots, he hadn't hit anything, and you've got to have more than two guys that are going to take the shots out there. Good job by Mike Helms there to break in, the, to give a release to Toms. Man for that pressure been thrown off. Now North Carolina jumping back. Are they man? Yep, man to man. They're looking for Johnstone again. There's Tichy. They're looking for John Stone. Danny Young. He gets open from the side. Danny Young scored the last two baskets, and he's the guy that's given Wake Forest the lead. Both times they've had it. Now 41-40. 2 3 zone. Wake Forest is kind of sneaky quick out of the zone, aren't they? Well, they had, particularly when they have Morgan and Tichy and Johnstone in there, because they've got three guys that can play that back line. What a feed that was by Jordan. And the uh, Worthy fouled on the play. 
Ellery Johnstone's second foul. Or he had to be able to stay up there with it. Back to the James Worthy streak now. He's six straight free throws he's hit here in this game tonight. Of course, how about Mr. Tissaw last night for Duke University standing up in that foul line in key, crucial situations, and despite the timeouts that were called, he did nothing but net. Well, after you'd gone down court, Bill, I had some regrets we didn't name Mike Clare of the game. That's, That's a big miss. Yeah, that uh, left the game tied. And for the first time tonight, it's tied 41-41. Nine minutes, ten seconds to go in the game. Jimmy Black coming out and pressing. Well, they're looking for Johnstone. Two men in front of Johnstone. There. Now, Tichy brought his man over there, too. Johnstone wants to clear out in there to work on Worthy. Danny Young penetrating. Reach in foul. That's on Doherty. Now, uh, Matt Doherty, that's only his first foul. Team fouls, just two on North Carolina this half. Wake Forest has committed five. Score is tied here. The first time they've been dead even so far. Wake Forest has led twice. One point each time. North Carolina by as much as 13. And with the score now, 41-41 deadlock. Let's Carl Tacey coming back now with Morgan, Jim. So he's going to gear on down now. He's got four fouls on him. Good defense by Black. Good job by Young to spring out of Black's grass. Not the easiest thing in the world. He's still forcing Young to go to his left. Morgan playing now with four fouls. Oh, John Stone has Worthy on his back. No lob. <laughs> Got a hurry. And they get the jump ball call. A lot of people don't realize this, but when a man's being tied up like that, the count continues until the ball touches another player. So in that particular case, even though Morgan had thrown the ball, it hadn't reached anybody yet. North Carolina's vaunted defense comes through again, giving them possession here with a tie score, seven and a half minutes to go in the game. May turn out to be the big play of the night. Who knows? I think if North Carolina gets the ball and a two-point lead with uh, any time to go from here on out, you'll see them pull Wake Forest out of the zone. 41-41 tie. Knocked down breast and here goes Michael Jordan floating in. Doherty feeds it home. Worthy in a turnover. Worthy can handle a pass, which was going sort of downward flight. Matt Doherty's got to take that shot, and he's got to prove that he can make that shot. Now Morgan sits down again, and John Toms replaces him. So Morgan will be saved for later with his four fouls. 7-13 to go. Black down with a little passive press, it looks like, on Young. Now they're going to trap him. Smart. Young saw it immediately. Goes to Toms. Smart move by Young to get rid of that ball in a hurry because he's back there all by himself. If Black ever steals the ball, it's over. That ball batted out. It's off the fingertips of Helms. Helms thought that Jordan had touched it, and he tried to avoid touching it. Apparently, we did not. Boy, the turnovers here becoming crucial. This gives North Carolina a chance to break the deadlock. 6.48 goal. Worthy still trying to come on inside that zone. Look at him knocking That's guys down. That's a foul on Worthy. Yep. Worthy just got pushed seconds before that. Nobody saw it. And then he collides. That goes down. He's pretty level-headed uh, young man, though. Well, remember the two-handed chest pass he threw, uh, what was that, against, um, what do we have, that? Maryland? Yep. Got a technical foul called on him because he threw a two-handed chest pass, almost knocked the referee over. Didn't do that. He won't be doing that anymore. I learned his lesson. Here's tough. Helms uh, really not that adept in the backcourt by himself with a dribble. The score remains tied at 41. Now 6.25 to go. Tom's inside a Johnstone, a great left-hand layup. I bet you Carl Tacey's saying we've been trying to do that the last three times down the floor. He's got wor Worthy on his back. Wake Forest hasn't been able to get him the ball. 43-41, Wake leads. This is the biggest lead they've had. Previous leads, four by one. Braddock on the outside. Ball goes over to Wake Forest. Well, that sometimes a matter of a quarter of an inch, does it? See, Dean Smith calling a timeout. He does not let the game get away from him, and he knows how critical. So before the game, and I don't think he's going to change his mind, do you, Bill? No, I don't think he is. You know, Dean Smith, uh, kind of a superstitious type of fella. He said, you know, this game was supposed to be played last night, and they changed it for television, and he said last night Perkins could have played. <laughs> we may see Sam coming from the infirmary pretty soon as they're in some trouble here. I think the last time North Carolina lost at home Good was double team. Forest, and they're still going to, and that was Danny Young showing a very smart play. He realized Wake Forest would get possession of the ball, and he did not try to make what could have been an unwise club together. Despite that horrendous shooting early, they kept their composure and really did well down the stretch. Wake Forest ball. 
well conceived out of bounds situation. I think you're right. I don't think there was a jump ball call there. I think it was just a timeout by Wake Forest. Which really saves them because now they could maybe get back in that situation again. And the next time, if Carolina would tie them up, it would still revert back to Wake Forest. Well, it's still their turn for possession. Jim Johnstone give and go. Danny Young layup. Oh, what a move. He worthy never anticipated that Young was going to challenge him, and Young just hesitated, dribbled, went right by. No was help from the weak side by North Carolina. Four point lead Wake Forest, their biggest of the game. 5.20 to go. Now Doherty and Braddock are going to have to show they'll put the ball up under this pressure. Got to put it up some because that zone's really looking out for Worthy and, and Michael Jordan. Hey, they're not giving Jordan the baseline. Braddock's got to put the shot up. Worthy has all avenues clogged toward him. Well, there goes Jimmy Black. He'll do it. Now you can count on him. Not a bad guy to have going for you. The chips down. 45-43. Wake by two with 450 remaining. North Carolina is a tough team to play a half-court freeze defense uh, uh, offense on too, because they'll come out and trap you and force you down onto the baseline. And of course, constantly switching defenses. Will keep you off balance also. Johnstone is almost in position. And he walks. No place critical to turnover. Go. Critical turnover with 4.33 to go. You saw Johnstone pointing to his chest. My fault, coach. North Carolina a chance to tie the score. Four minutes, 33 seconds to go. That's good defense by Worthy. He may push Johnstone out a little further than he wanted to be. How many teams you know of, Billy, are better in the final minutes than uh, North Carolina? Jordan to tie. Kept alive by Worthy, but a big rebound by Danny Young for Wake Forest. So Wake is back in possession with the lead. 45-43 with 4-10 remaining. Morgan still sitting down out there. I'm surprised that he's not in the ball game with his experience. Oh, Danny Young faked to put that up, but I think instead he was looking for Johnstone. Yeah, he wants to get Johnstone down on the baseline. And the four-minute mark here's inside. Tom's and can't do it, and it'll be North Carolina's ball. Tom thought he had a layup. The defense was there for North Carolina. The Tar Heels come down again looking to tie. 335 remaining. A lot of intrigue in this ball game. Look at Dean Smith sitting over there, nice and relaxed. Why well, every possession seems so magnified. Now you see they're skipping a man in the zone, they were with the lob passes. Worthy. Drops to Doherty. And that had been Perkins. He's been right there with a slam, maybe. So you can see the spots Perkins might be missed. Of course, how does Elvis Rogers sit That's down on the bench? Uh, he has to be here and watch it. Sam Perkins probably in the bed somewhere. The AL may also be watching, though. Two-point lead by Wake Forest. Big possession for North Carolina now with less than three minutes to go. And it'll be Michael Jordan, freshman short, hit by Worthy, and wow. a foul on the play on John Stone. Ooh, oh, John he, Stone, oh, he was flirting with a he, technical. He, he might get a nut. He's got to really be careful there. That could be a crucial mistake. Last night, I got out of line in regard to what I thought was going to be called a two-shot foul in the, the game over at Duke. Thought this, the referee signaled two-shot foul. What would have been a critical mistake? But for John Stone to get a technical there would have put Worthy in the line one and one. Would have gone ahead and put North Carolina with a technical. He lost was, the ball out of bounds. He wasn't shooting, Bill, or, not, or was he? Let's see. Well, he was grabbing a rebound at the time, so it's going to be out ball out of bounds. Not in a one and one yet. 16 fouls. North Carolina will be on the one and one the rest of this game. So you don't want that technical foul when you're about to gain possession. 45-43. Oh, Jordan almost had the edge. 2.45 remaining. Wake Forest been in that 2-3 zone uh, almost the entire ball game after they started out man to man. North Carolina, a very cool team here, trailing by two. Jimmy Black, he did it before and again. That time Black and Jordan switched positions, so Black had the wing spot and hit it. That ties the score at 45 with two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Wake Forest still has three times out left. John Stone, trapped and foul. Foul is on Jimmy Black. Third foul against Black. It's a good move by Black, though. He realizes what Wake Forest wants to do, which is to get it in on John Stone with Worthy on his back, and so they're really collapsing. Two minutes, 14 seconds remaining. 
Johnstone has that tendency to put that ball down one dribble on the inside, so North Carolina trying to take advantage of it. Here's Morgan back in there. There's a gutty shot that is hit by Helms. Boy, Helms took it all on his shoulders from about 18 feet away. 47-45. Wake back up with two at the two-minute mark to go. Well, the whole nation could be stunned by this one. North Carolina undefeated, ranked number one in the country, both major polls. Worthy down the middle to Doherty for Good the hand. hesitation. And Doherty again. Foul on the play by Young. That'll be a two-shot foul. Third foul by Young. And Doherty will go to the line. He's one for two tonight. Only three points. Doherty on the season. Hitting 81.5. That's pretty impressive. We see the foul right here. Doherty really battling well. You know, they list him at 6'8. I find that hard to believe that he's quite that big, and he got ripped on the arm. Wake Forest going to call timeout. They'll give Doherty a chance to think about it here. We saw this strategy last night backfire on uh, Jim Valvano of NC State. I don't think it's for pressure as much this time as it is, Jim, as for Carl Tacey wanting to get organized. There's a lot of situations to discuss here. If Doherty misses, are they going to hold the ball? If Doherty makes him and it's a tie score, what are they going to do? There is the, there it is. You see the importance here. Missouri might well move to the top. Should North Carolina... The entire nation showing that there's good teams from top to bottom and it's very difficult to go through a conference schedule undefeated. Boy, so many great players today. Okay, Doherty on the line for two shots. Needs them both to tie the score. Now Carl, now Carl Tacey probably set up a situation that if they get the ball back with the lead, they're going to do. A, they're going to act a lot differently than if had this score been tied. It's down to one. One minute, 47 seconds to go. One point lead by Wake Forest. I don't think they'll take anything unless it's a layup. Blocking by Jimmy Black. That's oh. number four. Yep. Black tried to draw the charge. He's super quick, but so is uh, Helms in this case. 47 to 46. That's five team fouls on Wake Forest. North Carolina can play aggressively for at least one more foul. That matchup with Helms and Black, Wake Forest much rather have the ball in this man's hands right here because uh, Black, a better defender than Helms, is a ball handler. Loud pass to Teaching. They're going to try to hang on to it, I believe. I don't think they'll take a shot unless they have an uncontested layup. They're really spread now. They're looking for the back door and the sure layup. There's a block outside. Here comes Michael Jordan. Feeds to Jimmy Black. Back to Jordan. And it's oh, to can you believe Stone. that? Unbelievable. Great play. hustle by John Stone. Can you believe they couldn't get the handle? Move, look at the time. One minute, eight seconds and rolling. Wake Forest sweating out a one-point lead. Lean over by Jordan. Third foul on Michael Jordan. They might have been choosing a man here to send to the line with for one minute, two seconds to go, and they pick on John Toms, who has not scored in this game. But that's only the sixth foul, so that strategy isn't going to work either. Still waits for its ball. You saw Dean Smith reminding his team that is six fouls. So both teams are on the bonus now as we're going into the final minute of the play. Wake Forest leading by one point. Who would you foul, Bill, if it comes to that? I think I put Toms on the line. Well, has not scored. Got a disappointing night. There's the double team. Down to Tichy. Wake Forest keeping spread out. 38 seconds and rolling. Wake trying to sweat for a one-point lead. There Got is Tichy, and he's fouled. That's Jimmy Black just fouled out of the ball game. That could be a critical loss for North Carolina in the last half minute. But the pressure now is going to fall solidly on Anthony Tichy, who will make his first trip to the line. He's uh, not a, a very not good bad. Free, not Well, he's 51 percent uh, from the field and a 73 percent foul shooter from the line. 25 of 34 so far this year and has a very peculiar look and style. But he wills him in there. 73.5. Teach is waiting. Uh, there's been a hold up in play here for some reason. I guess they're going to date will take his full time to get the sub in for Jimmy Black. Forty seven to forty six one point lead by uh, Wake Forest. Billy Packer now is cutting down the court side. There's nobody under everybody is at midcourt or under the North Carolina basket. Teachy big free throw. Oh what a big one two point lead forty eight forty six bonus shot coming. Fifth point for Anthony Teachy Goldsboro North Carolina sitting in the edge of their seats. 
pulling for this young lady, the sophomore. Here's the bonus shot. They could stretch it to three. And it does for Wake Forest. The biggest lead of the game has been four. North Carolina's got three timeouts to call. There's Jordan down the middle. Lost the ball. And he is walking as he goes through. And now it's going. Wait a minute. There might have been a foul called. Here comes the Robert Taylor over to talk with Joe Forty. They're going to give the ball to Wake Forest, I believe. Yep. Wake Forest ball. Number one, says uh, Carl Tacey. Now, he's not signaling what he thinks his team is in the standings like a fan. He's calling their offensive work here in the last 26 seconds. Three-point lead by Wake Forest. They are on the verge of pulling their second straight victory over North Carolina here at Chapel Hill on the home court. Wake Forest calls their fourth timeout right here. So we'll have one more left for Wake Forest. North Carolina has three remaining. What time will the Billies down? We can hear us yet or not, but uh, this is going to be frantic. 26 seconds. You can bet on that. Wake Forest will have the ball at a three-point lead. Wake has uh, Tichi on the floor now instead of Morgan. They're breaking it backcourt to Danny Young. And there's the backcourt foul by Braddock. Gambling to try and bat the ball away, which would have given him an open basket. But uh, really not being too concerned if he did commit the foul. Once more, Wake Forest sends all the four remaining players back to the North Carolina end of the court. That's Carl Tacey's strategy here, that if he should miss, then North Carolina will not get an easy quick basket. Danny Young on the line, two for four, but they are his last two. He has ten points. Uh, that could be a big one for Wake Forest. It stretches the lead to four. That equals their longest lead. If Young gets this one, North Carolina will be facing an uphill struggle of having to make up five points in 22 seconds. Got them both. 22 seconds to go. Five-point lead Wake Forest. Michael Jordan banks high. Slam deep. More. Jordan back up again. Will not count. There was a foul instead, a push-off against North Carolina. The ball will go to Wake Forest. The Deacons now are in perfect position to spring the upset here over Dean Smith's number one ranked Tar Heels. A five-point lead with 16 seconds to go. All right, what a great comeback by Wake Forest. Remember, North Carolina scored the first eight points of this game and led by 13 at 22 to 9 midway in the first half. That's when Carl Tacey's team started their comeback. They cut it to one. Another free throw here. The clutch has been outstanding. There's another one by Tichi. So Tichi driving another nail here in North Carolina's fates with 16 seconds left, stretches the Wake Forest lead to six. Remember one time North Carolina came from eight behind with 17 seconds to go, but you wouldn't think that to happen again this century. Now it's a seven-point lead. 53 46 15 seconds to go here comes Michael Jordan over the middle he missed again Johnstone couldn't handle it it'll still be North Carolina's ball but most important the seconds now have clicked down to just 10 to go 10 seconds remaining North Carolina is preserving its timeouts in case it can score a basket that'll be Jeff Barlow out of the corner and there's Doherty they're giving the layup and he calls timeout so Doherty, that did not want to foul him, cuts the lead to five, but with only four seconds to go. This one now would seem to be in the uh, column for Wake Forest over North Carolina. And the ACC race becomes jumbled again at the very top. Three teams to share first place, it would appear, before this night's over. Four seconds remaining on the clock right here. North Carolina 53, Wake Forest 48. So Wake Forest continues to be a thorn in the side of North Carolina. This would leave them 9 and 8 since the 1977 season. Well, we have a moment, so let's remind you that our McDonald's Outstanding Player Awards tonight go to from Wake Forest, Jim Johnstone, who was magnificent on the inside when they could get him the ball, 16 points, and to North Carolina's James Worthy, who really led them during the first for Wake Forest. Long pass to Helms. Helms is finally fouled with two seconds to go. Well, that would seem to decide the issue. The Wake Forest players believe it. They feel it here. They've come two straight years into Chapel Hill. This one might be dampened a little bit by the absence of Sam Perkins, but it isn't going to take any uh, 
of the glory away for these players here after this one's finally put away. Helms will be on the line. He's two for two tonight. Had 20 points here last year when Wake Forest really hammered North Carolina in an upset. Thought he would come in here and guard Michael Jordan tonight, but Wake wound up strategy-wise to be in a zone throughout. 54-48. First home loss for North Carolina since they lost to Wake Forest a year ago. 55-48 with two seconds, and the ball is thrown away. Wake Forest will have a chance here to just inbounds the ball. They'll run this one off, and Wake Forest will have put an ACC lead into a three-way situation and perhaps taken first in the nation away from North Carolina. There it is, the final second. Wake Forest has done it again. They come back and beat a crippled North Carolina team because of the loss of Perkins, but they do it without their own Rodgers. A solid comeback victory for the Deacons. Final margin was their biggest of the game, 55 to 48. And now that puts the Wake record at 4-1. North Carolina 4-1 the ACC, the 12th victory for the Deacons, and that's the end of the game. But we'll be coming right back with a final wrap-up after these messages from your local station.